This is Australia's Vision Radio Network. You're with Matt and Karen on the journey today. And it's welcome back to John Mackay, the creation guy. How are you, mate? Pretty good. G'day, Comma. John. <laughs> Great to have you with us again. Now, we've been looking at the website, askjohnmackay.com, and uh, we've had some of our listeners asking some questions as well. One of the questions we'd love to, uh, to get is uh, an answer from is, where does the age for the earth of around 6,000 years come from? What's your take on that, John? Okay, well, having growing up outside the church, outside of Christianity, and having had, by the time I left Queensland University, graduating in geology, 4.6 billion years in my head, um, I asked that question long ago, you know, because it was very evident that if you picked up a Bible like I'd done, it's one of the ways I became a Christian, and read from Genesis up to the present, you know, you get to the end of the book of Revelation, you know, well, that's a couple of thousand years since it was written, right? And you think, well, okay, it doesn't read like Adam was on the planet 6 billion years ago. It doesn't even read like 600,000 or 60,000. And so the common figure that's touted around is around about 6,000. So I decided one year I'd try and find out for myself, how do you get figures like that? So here's what I did. I started at Genesis chapter 5 because it says, this is the book of Adam. And so it gives you his family. Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel, all this sort of Mm -hmm. stuff. You know, the family and Cain had this and Seth had that. And if you add up the age of the fathers at the age that their wives had their sons and you keep doing this, you will find, and there's three or four different routes you can go through the Bible because there's kings and chronicles and all sorts of things. You'll finally end up with the founding of Solomon's temple. And we know when that was because lots of people got invited, right? So it was a big event. And from there, you come up to Jesus. We know when he was, around about 2,000 years ago, right? And you actually do get a figure of around about six or so thousand years. There's a little bit of liberty there because unknown to most people, the Bible in most cases only lists whole years. So Noah was 500 years old when he had a son. Question, was he 500 years in one day or was he 500 years in 364? So for every (laughs) every name with a whole number, you have to add at least plus or minus one. So you, you can have a little bit of liberty here. But that is roughly the figure you get. And, of course, then I said, well, that's not the same as 4.6 billion years. But here's the difference. The Bible does claim to be the record of the God and the people who were there, whereas our dates for the age of the earth, you know what made me begin to question them? I remember sitting in Queensland University, we had a radioactive prac. The prof handed out 10 specimens, which he said for the one were from the one rock, and he said, I want you to find that radioactive date of this rock. So we all, for hours and hours, did our measurements and radioactive isotopes, etc. And we got 10 different answers. Mm. And I thought, well, at least one of us might be right or 10 of us could be wrong. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, the prof comes back in. We gave him, you know, rather downcast our results. And we said, prof, is anybody right? He said, oh, you're right. You're all right. All right. And he said, oh, here's what you do. And he did some fancy statistical mathematics. And I looked at that and I thought, I've just become a doubter. This (laughs) this is not what you do with normal data at Mm -hmm. all. And then uh, when my wife and I bought a property down at uh, um, towards Cleveland Way here in Queensland, um, the age of that rock, I discovered, had changed three times uh, in the past 100 years. And I thought... That's not that's not what you call accurate science. So I began to realise that the age that scientists put on is not a fact. It's the latest opinion. I tracked down one fossil and it's got, you know, 70 million years older in the last 120 years. And some of the ladies <laughs> worry about ageing. They should feel really sorry <laughs> for that fossil, right? And so I began to realise these were opinions. These were theories. So it's not the evidence that contradicts the biblical value. So number one, you get that six or so thousand years from statistically following all the chronological data in the Bible. You can have a little bit of liberty, six or so thousand years. And then I thought, well, Archbishop Usher is the man who's most famous for this. And I was in County in Ireland. I thought, I'm going to research this guy. And instead of being some sort of fundamentalist jerk, this guy was an academic of academics. Mm. I couldn't believe the languages he read and understood, the research he did, all before Google, right? I mean, this is unbelievable. (laughs) 
and and I gained a brand new respect, but I also found one other thing. He wasn't the first person to suggest the world was made in 4004 BC or anything. Yeah. I ended up back with Theophilus in the second century AD, right? Yeah. And he writes, you know, the world is but 6,000 6, or so years old as revealed in the Holy Scriptures, not the tens of thousands according to Plato, etc. And I thought, ah, there's the debate. It's still the same. Christians believe in God's word from the very beginning or pagans who are making up their own history. So that's the history of the conflict and the importance of it. I remember traveling back from America one year with an astronomer and he was a big bang theorist, right? And there's one disadvantage of sitting beside John Mackay, the creation guy, for <laughs> 17 hours it was in those days. You're a captive audience. You yeah. can't get away, right? So by the time we'd got to Hawaii, he'd begun to doubt the Big Bang Theory. By the time we'd flown over Namir, etc., he was beginning to admit, well, the age of the universe depends on the belief you've got about how it got here. And then I said, well, why do you want it to be old? And he said, I've never thought about that before. I said, well, what's the answer? He said, well, I guess the further back you put it, the less you have to think about it. And that's the crunch. You put the age of the earth billions, but you don't even have to think about where it came from, nor do you have to think about where it's going to. When you know Jesus made the world in just six days, then you know that he's got enough power to rip the rug from under you in less than six seconds and to remake the heavens and the earth in just six words. That is brilliant. We're talking to John Mackay, and uh, if you want to find out more, the website is askjohnmackay.com. And if any of our listeners would like to uh, email us in a question at the station, just go to vision.org.au. Yeah, let's make this your um, question time. Mm. Let us know. What would you like to find out from John Mackay, the creation guy? Brilliant, mate. Thanks for your time today.